Hello guys, so today I'm making banana bread and I was gonna do like a cook with Tilly kind of thing but then I was like you know what I'm doing other stuff today why don't I just do a vlog and have that just as part of the vlog so it's not like a 30 minute cooking video it's more of a look at how I make banana bread but I'll put the ingredients and quantities in it's like I'll explain it when I get to that part, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna vlog so you guys are gonna see my whole day just so that like because I'm gonna be uploading all the time I figure you guys can get to know me a bit also I'm sorry I just realized it might have looked like I'm not wearing anything um I'm wearing this Fila top which look at this look at that it's all but it was five dollars in the sale so I kind of can't complain there's a shoe shop near me and it's having a sale, so I'm gonna go down there, just have a look. I'm gonna, while I'm down there, go to the chemist and get some hay fever tablets because the ones we have here are lost and I'm allergic to something and it's hurting my eyes. So I'm just gonna do a quick little put makeup on, do my hair and go. All right guys, so basically I am walking down to my shops. It's kind of quiet, which is weird. The cafe's closed. Like, it's not a noisy neighborhood, but like nothing's open. There's not many builders and there's three houses being constructed. Maybe it's a zombie apocalypse, who knows? These trees are so stupid. How low can you hang? Like how low can you hang? So I found like a few shoes that I like and they don't have my size. That's really fun. Um, okay, I might get the kind that, wait, do they have my size? Yeah, okay. I need some nice shoes, but the people here are kind of watching me, so I don't like it. These ones are good though. I don't know which pair to get. Oh no. These ones are cool, but they hurt my feet. These ones are cool, but they're pretty loose, and these ones make me look like I have a horse's foot. Look. What is that? Yuck. Ew. But, not bad. Okay, really interesting. I went in to KFC and I didn't want anything, so I left. And I'm just gonna go home and make my banana bread, make some pasta, some two minute noodles, and some two schnitzel on toast, and some egg and fried rice, maybe. See how much of that I actually end up eating slash actually making bags not fried rice. Okay, I'll make some pasta, some banana bread, and see how I go with life. Hello, I'm back home. I made it, and I thought I'd just give you guys an update. <music> update, these tablets. Yum. It went down with the water well. Um, they were so smooth. They're not big. They're very small tablets. Not as small as some, but in terms of like, they're pretty small, um, they're good. So hopefully my eyes won't be itchy anymore. Okay, so these are the shoes I used to have, the flats I used to have. They've got a bit of like powder stuff on them. They've got like a fake buckle. They're obviously like rubbish, kind of. I know that's them. I've had them for ages. I got them at Big W. These are my next ones. Um, again, pretty rubbish. They're from Kmart. They are broken. They were $7. And yeah, these are the new ones. So they kind of look old ladyish inside, but they've got a mini heel, which I thought was nice for interviews. I saw nicer ones, right, with a bigger heel, but I was like, I don't know if I'd actually like them. And also the toe was like square. I showed and it made me look like a horse. So these look like flats. When you have them on, they just look like normal ballet flats. From the side, they have a bit of a heel, which makes you look a little bit classier. So, and they were 
we're $19 instead of 50. Hello, so right now I'm making my banana bread. I know you're all excited. So this is the recipe book I'm using. It's, oh. It's Nigella Lawson, How to Be a Domestic Goddess, I'm pretty sure. And so pay, if you have that, open up and get starting. Page 33 is banana bread, I've memorized that. Look at this, yum. So good. All right, so this is the recipe. And as you can see, there's some stuff here that I'm not gonna use. I'm not putting sultanas in, I'm not putting dark rub in, rum in, I'm not putting walnuts in. Um, and yeah, that's it. I've got my bananas here. I've also got chocolate chips. 170 Celsius, gas mark three. Right, what does that convert to? All right, this oven is really a struggle. Um, but basically the buttons, yeah, are fake. So you have to go underneath and it's, yeah. So that's on and then, oh gosh, function. There we go, 180. If you wanna get perfect grams without weighing anything, Woolworths butter has 50, 50, 50. So I need 125 grams. So I cut halfway through the 50 and there's the other half there. And yeah, so that's 125 grams of butter. All, oh my gosh, mm. oh. all done and sorted, yeah, cool. <laughs> so I've melted the butter and it smells like two minute noodles. Um, that brown sugar is low key making me crave like porridge. Like, mmm, yum, it's so nice. Okay, so that's brown sugar and now I'm gonna do, I'm trying to film and do this, it's really hard. I'm gonna do cast the sugar um to 150 grams oh okay so that's all the sugar we need good now we mix this around make sure the brown sugar clumps are gone um just so that it's not all clumpy but that already looks so good yum oh look at that beautiful that just looks gorgeous Yum, look at it. Mmm. Yum. That banana is well smashed. Right, that was good. And then, mmm. So, that is not 175 grams of product, but almost. So I'm gonna mix this in and just see how it ends up looking. And then this is self-raising flour as well, not plain. I'm gonna add plain flour if we need more flour, which we will because oats don't actually soak up very much. So I added some more plain flour. I don't know how much it is, but you know, I'm guessing and I'm a professional chef, so I can do that. All right, I'm gonna put some, how many is in here? How many is this packet? Oh, 200 grams. I'm going to put that many in. Baking paper time. What the heck? That's as much as you're going to see. No, idiot. All right, this is my banana bread. I'm just gonna chuck this in the oven. Probably like that way for a few minutes. What's the time now? 1.47, I'll get that out at like two something. And um, I'll just clear up. See y'all later. Getting ready for my pasta, brown pasta. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys how I cook my pasta 
for like I every time I eat pasta this is how I cook it and I'm gonna show you and you guys are gonna love it okay so ba these are honestly the only ingredients you will really need tomato paste uh, mustard and um, pasta yeah these flavors actually that's a lie these are the only ingredients you need this is to put in the water just because I don't know first an unknown reason then that then so you put this in and then when the pasta's boiled and everything that so you put this in the empty water and then you put the pasta in and then when that's done you put tomato paste in with a little bit of pasta water left in the pan mix this around until it's all like all the pasta's covered in tomato then add some of the little oh, mustard and mix it around again and then just sprinkle some pepper on you know and then Add some thyme and a little bit of paprika just for, I don't know, I don't know why I add that. And then um, chili flakes just if you want a little bit more spice. So you can add meat if you want, but I'm vegetarian for right now, this meal, so yeah. Oh, this is high in fiber by the way. Yeah, cool. So I actually think when the water's like this, I put salt in, but who knows? So now I put in pasta. I'm not feeling too hungry. Um, that like batter filled me up. So I just put in like, right. I guess I just put in that much because that's how much is coming out the packet. on very low um and then you just tip the water out i'll actually need two hands because yeah so i think you want about that much tomato paste in that way to be honest you want like however much tomato paste you like you want half what am i trying to say how much tomato paste you put in you want the mustard seeds to be like half that size anyway i put the but um, basically it should look like this and then you add your next herbs. So I added a sprinkle of parmesan, some pepper on top, and bon appetit. Yum. Alright, I ran out of a few um, storage. Uh, but I deleted some videos and now I'm on 20%. And um, Alright, my phone stopped filming. Basically 20% battery. Um, I hope it doesn't keep kicking me out. I said that this is really nice and I can taste the fiber. It's so good. Can't wait for my banana bread. Mmm. Mm. This is a mini mukbang. If you want a big one, comment. Mm hmm. I could do a long video. Order a pizza. Go down to the shops, in fact. Go down to the Little Caesars. Buy a pizza. Look at this very cooked on the edges but it's good that looks so nice all right i'm gonna leave it here for a bit all right guys i've got my banana bread it turned out so nice like look at that oh my gosh yum some yum banana bread tea uh old episode and I'm happy, but we have to do a taste test. I completely forgot, so I'll just break a little bit off. Ooh -hoo. Okay, yum. It's warm. Some of the best banana bread I've ever had. Let me take a proper bite. Oh, just the right amount of chocolate. Maybe a few more oats would have been nice. <sighs> it's amazing. That is just so good. Guys, I hope you did follow along with me. Because, honestly, this is amazing. Thanks for watching. Like. 
subscribe. See you next time.